Eagles at the Jets. The Jets at two and three. With that one last game before their bye week, the pivot between two and four and three and three. The Eagles are five and zero, oh, but have they been impressive in any of their victories? They could have lost every game they've played this year. They're they're different from the 49ers who are kicking the crap out of everyone. So, Eagles favored by seven, over under of 41. Do you think the Jets can cover? And dare I ask, do you think the Jets can win? Well, let me go to you here on this one first because you, you were flirting with some language this morning that – in this gangrene versus gangrene matchup that I felt like you were like percolating, maybe taking the jets or making it real close. So I kind of want to see where you got some pasta and meatballs working here with a little I, Parmesan I, on it. What do we got going here? I, I feel like I have gangrene in my stomach still after the <laughs> kidney stone and my lingering ulcerative colitis. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe it is an infection that's gone rogue. I'm doing it, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, life isn't worth Woo! living unless you're going to have some fun once in a while. And I apologize in advance to all the great Eagles fans out there. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. Your team's not going to go 17-0. and And there's a danger they may be peeking past the Jets toward the Miami Dolphins. Big showdown next Sunday night between Philly and Miami. Ooh, baby. You might lose track of the business at hand. You might think this is one we just show up and win. And the Jets understand the stakes here, and they have been getting better. They beat the Broncos. They almost beat the Chiefs. This is a great way to go into the bye better than they ever expected to be. 3-3 three and three was the best-case scenario if Aaron Rodgers doesn't blow out his Achilles tendon four plays into the season. Jets 24, Eagles 23. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I don't know what to say. I'm like, one, a little surprised. Two, I'm almost like, oh, man, Jets, if you don't win or do this, it's just going to make Florio hate you guys if you don't, and he's going to crap all over you from this point on. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, I hear you. The Jets have been playing better. There's no doubt about that. That that That's right. There's two things that worry me, though. And one – the Jets can't stop the run very well. I mean, not very well. It's it's bad. It's below average. And you know my thoughts on this Eagles football team. They can run the ball pretty much on anybody. And if you want to slow it down, you got to go to such an extent to stop it that you're compromised in the pass game. And Jalen Hurts has shown to me this year that he has gone up another level as a passer, at least, in that it's not just throw a goal ball to A.J. Brown, throw a jump ball to Devontae Smith. Uh, I kind of said it to you last week. Uh, you know, there's more over the middle. There's more touch passes. There's more pure passing within the pocket that, I, that I'm liking to see there. And I worry about the Jets' O-line versus this Eagles' D-line. I do. I mean, the Eagles' D-line is phenomenal. I am going to play a little bit at the other side of this, that the Eagles are going to turn on the film a little bit and go, damn, there's some talent on this Jets football team, and it's going to get their attention. And I think you're going to see an Eagles team play one of their best games of the year here this week. I, I just think they're too much. And I think with the pressure, that's where I don't trust Zach Wilson when people are on him constantly, and that's when he gets a little careless with the football. I'm going 28-17 Eagles. Well, you know, I may regret it, but again, I got to have It'll make fun Sunday here, at 425 it fun. <laughs> it won't surprise me if the Jets pull it off. I'd feel better about it, frankly, if the game was in Philadelphia. So Zach Wilson wouldn't have to listen to the Jets fans who might be up in arms if things aren't going their way. But I think the Jets can do it. I believe that they'll go into the bye week three and three. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the what the f happened podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you